Hey Aries, what's up? Welcome to your reading. So, we're going to uh, do another reading. Okay? One, two, oh, three. All right. <coughs> okay. This person, first of all, clearly is manifesting you. Okay? They're trying to manifest a brand new opportunity with you. Okay? With a magician here. <clears throat> this person here uh, kind of is, you know, like practically trying to have a new beginning with you. They want a brand new opportunity with you. For people who are in no communication here, yes, this person is still kind of defensive, okay? They're trying to prove their point. They're still trying to hold on to their corner here. They're in two minds, for sure, okay? This person's in two minds out here, back and forth, back and forth. Should I, should I not, should I, should I not? But uh, eventually in their feelings, it's like they're reaching a point where they just want to make it happen with you, okay? Like they want to go through any kind of obstacles. They want to move forward with you. They're hell-bent and very determined on making it happen with you. The problem here with feelings is that feelings keep changing, right? Uh, not like actions keep changing, but action is like once you do it, right? It's like something very concrete. Feelings is like, you know, very wishy-washy, right? It comes and goes, comes and goes. So at least for right now here, even though this person is in two minds, even though this person is very defensive, you know, they're kind of sticking to their corner here, uh, pushing people away that they shouldn't, pushing you away or blocking you out completely. I feel they could be trying to, you know, de be defensive because you could have probably had an argument with them, okay, where you both are at a stalemate right now. But in their feelings here, they're trying to manifest you, okay? And they want to move things forward with you. It's like they're getting that energy where, you know what, they're like out on the loose and they want this. For a lot of you, you could be in a long distance relationship with this person. <clears throat> this person here could be someone here, you know, who didn't have that enough willpower, okay? to probably move things forward, but now they do. They're trying to gather this together. They could be juggling you between two people, between another person here. Doesn't have to be, only if you know it. Uh, so this could be you and another person that they're juggling, okay, and they're going ahead with both the options, or they're just not making a choice, okay? They're still not decisive. They still don't know whether they want to be with you or not be with you. <clears throat> could be family and could be you. Could be you and another person here, whatever. They're just on and off, but they're still very indecisive. All right, overall, this person here in their intentions here, this person does daydream about you, for sure, okay? They do daydream about you. They think about you a lot. Uh, it's like, you know, I want to do this with Aries. I want to do that with Aries here. A lot of wishful thinking is what I'm getting, okay? Wishful thinking here, which is, again, leading to procrastination, right? Because they want this, 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 this with you. But when it comes to taking action and moving forward with it, that's something that they're not doing here, okay? Intentions here, definitely, Ten of Pentacles here. If you're married to this person, this person wants to keep it committed, okay? If you're not married to this person here, this person has intentions of wanting to marry you, okay? Stability is on their mind here. They do want to know you. They want to work on this connection. It's more like, you know, uh, they want to try and work on this connection. They want to know you better. It's almost like this person I'm getting, like, who feels that uh, you could be a lot of hard work. Uh, there could be a lot of... Um, effort that is involved or that is needed from this person's side in order for them to make this work out with you which they realize that and one of the reasons they could have probably backed out back and forth is because they feel it's just too much work to keep a relationship going with you okay or to stay in a connection you could be someone here you know who could be putting in a lot of hard work in this connection and they keep copping out every time here but they do realize the fact that they if they want to reach a certain point with you they gotta um, put in that effort without two people coming on the same page or without them meeting you halfway it's not going to work out so one of the reasons they could be copping out or could be back and forth is because they realize that there's some kind of a certain amount of commitment is needed in order for them to get this relationship off ground here again with the page of wands here their intentions is to communicate with you but again that's a very that's a page of wands here their intention is to probably just still keep it light even if their intention is to marry you now for some of you you could be already married uh, to someone else okay or they could be married which could be keeping them stuck here they could be juggling you uh with someone else here but i do feel that uh <clears throat> they want to work on this connection for sure okay but again their intention is still very uh, uh very light-hearted very free-spirited this is someone here who probably the, even if you are currently in a marriage with them they still like to be free they like to be on their own. They don't like to be tied down to. Their communication is very flirty. Their communication is more like where they like to explore their other options. If you're not with this person here, that's just how this person's intention is. They want to keep it open. Um, although they would like to work on this connection here, at the same time here, they don't want to be tied down to. They don't want to be put in a box. Right? 
So yeah, their intention is to communicate with you, but again, it's going to be like coming in because they want to ignite the spark in this relationship. Maybe the relationship is too boring or uh, there's no spark here. So you know what I'm getting here? You, Aries, could be wanting something damn serious with this person out here, okay? And which is why this person thinks you're too much work, okay? Maybe every single time they come towards you with that lame ass page of wands here, okay? They want to keep it light. They want to keep it fun. They probably even want to travel with you, but they're not ready. They're not ready. <clears throat> Same shit, different day, right? So this person here, first of all, is an attention-seeking whore. All right. <laughs> I mean, genuinely, this is the six of wands here. That's what I'm getting here. So they want your attention here. This is someone here who probably is missing that attention. Okay, so they miss your attention. They miss the uh, appreciation that you had for them. You know, so I think you gave them, you put in a lot more value in this person than they deserved here. Maybe you put in a lot of a lot more work here, okay, than um, them. So I feel that you could always be someone who was receiving less and giving more, okay. And now this person misses it, which is why they're coming towards you again, wanting that attention. Uh, the six of wands is a good energy. I do like six of wands because the six of wands sometimes is also the card of where this person wants public recognition with you, okay, but. I still feel they lack confidence. I still feel that this is someone here who probably has a little bit of a pride and ego to come towards you here, okay? Again, like I said, this person here is someone here who will still want to receive more and you will they will be giving you less. So it is still going to be a situation where they will invest this much, but they will ask you to invest this much. So be very careful about that. But overall with the devil here, I do feel in their uh, actions here, this person's obsessed with you. They're addicted to you. I don't think this person's going to let you go very easily. Okay. So uh, that's what I'm getting here. So probably it's you who they want is what I'm getting here. But overall, they know that for a lot of you, there could be a big sacrifice that this person needs to make. Okay. In order to be with you. Now, this could be a person sacrificing their sense of independence. This person could be sacrificing their career, their goals, or they could be uh, having to sacrifice, um, say, probably their approach towards marriage, or probably they need to sacrifice their um, approach towards commitment or whatever. There's some big sacrifice, I feel. There's some big uh, compromise that this person needs to make in order for them to be with you, in, or, in order for them to gain what they have with you, but they're not still ready to do it. Yes, there could be some communication because I do see that intention here with like a little back and forth, you know, probably like let's catch up or probably just a little passionate communication here where they're trying to uh, reignite the spark between you guys because things could have been boring between you both, but that's about it. I still don't see any concrete action between you both here all right but they're coming in to get attention because they want your attention they want their eyes on you they want your eyes on them so okay so that's what i have for you hope this reading resonates uh and uh leave your comments below okay bye bye